Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, great in battle. Jehovah is your name. 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 Mighty warrior, great in battle. Jehovah is your name. Good morning. Hello, my brothers and my sister out there. I greet you in the name of God. I bring you good news from Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As you are about to enter this new month, that God Almighty will bless you. He will protect you. You are going out. You are coming in. Oh Lord, the heaven will not let you fall in the trap of the enemy. It will not let you fall down. I bring you greeting from God Jesus Christ who created heaven and earth. And as you believe him, he will make your life easier for you. You will not find any difficulties. Temptation will not be for you. No weapon form against you that will prosper if you believe Jesus Christ of our Lord, Je our Lord Jesus. He makes everything possible because there is no like him. He is the beginning and the end. He is the reason why we are living today. So, my brothers and my sister out there, I urge you to serve God with the truth and light. Serve it with all your heart because there is no like him. There is no, if anybody told you that there is no gain in serving God, it's a lie. There is big gain in serving Lord Jesus. So serve your God because he, him alone is worthy of our praise. So I bring you good news this morning. That Jesus Christ is the reason for the season as we are, here, we are here about to enter another new year. Another new year that Anything you find difficult last year that you will not be able to achieve, that this year God will make you to achieve it in the mighty name of Jesus. That you will not fall in the hands of the enemy. And you will not labor for your enemy to eat. That is the promise of God for his children. And you're going out and you're coming in, he will protect you. I want to also tell you this morning, my brothers and my sisters who are watching this video, in life, just what called a history, story about life. Every life has story to tell. As me, as you, we have story. Most important thing is that your story ends well. Because there are people who their story starts in a horrible way. But at the end, their story ends well. I pray that your story will end well in the mighty name of Jesus. It does not matter how you started. What matters is how you finish. And your story will finish well in the mighty name of Jesus. He, he will not, he, God will not ignore you. He will not let you pass here before he will finalize your case. Your case will be finalized in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want you to be serious about serving God. I don't want I just want you to tell people about the Lord Jesus Christ how he has been faithful to you does not mean you must have a car you must have a house before you know that God is has been faithful to you for you to sleep and wake up in the morning is a big story it's a big testimony to God there are so many people who are not able they are asleep the way we, you, you and I sleep but they don't be able to make it today not that we are holier than them, not that we are richer than them, not that we are beautiful than them, but, but because the glory of God upon your life. Because God knows that you are going somewhere. So he's preserving you away from death. He's preserving you away from your enemy. Now, who are you not to serve God, my brother? Who are you not to serve God, my sister? Please serve God. Give God your time. Give God your time. Give thanks to the word of God. Give thanks. To the Holy Ghost, give thanks because He's giving Jesus Christ a son. Give thanks to the Holy One, give thanks 
to the King of Kings. Give thanks because he's giving Jesus Christ a song. Anoint, let the sick say, I am he, because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. So whenever you come across this video, try and share. It's very important. And one thing that I want to let our Christian brother, our Christian sister know, please. You have to, we have to be differentiating our way, our words, who, where, who, words that come out of our mouth. That is what makes us a Christian. Our world will not be negotiating with other ways. Like you want to tell somebody that you are crazy, you are mad. No, as a Christian, it not ought to be like that. Okay? It's not to be like that. For you to say somebody you are mad is a big sin in the sight of God. I know that that is the world we are living. A world of curse. If someone curse you, you must retaliate it. It's not easy to shut up. But if you have the grace of God and you know where you are going to, you have to let those things go. Okay? You have to let those things go. And in number two, forgiveness. Forgiveness is very important. Forgiveness is very important. In the lives of we children of God, we have to let the unbelievers know that we are we are different. What makes us so different is because of the life we live and the, the way we speak. Okay, we should not condemn people. We should not destroy. We should not look down on people because that is not what God tells us to do. God wants us to be as as Him. God wants us to be as Him. Although we cannot be as God, but we can try our best. Because God, He died for us. And I don't think any of us can die for anybody. This is why we cannot be like God. But we have to, 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 to do what the, Christ, the scriptures say about living life where? Living life for forgiveness. This way you can be able to overcome your enemy forgive this way you can be able to overcome everything every trap of the the witchcraft forgiveness let your heart be free with people although people might not li like you they might not love you because you are speaking the truth they might not really want to see you but you don't care what matter is what god says concerning your life what god says concerning your life is what matter please Live life the way God wants it. Live life the way God wants it. And I pray that God Almighty will give us the grace to live the life the way He wants it. And on time death will not knock it to our door. And I also pray for your children. I pray for your family everywhere you are watching me for. That your family will not die. You will not hear bad news because I need your family. Your children will not die. Whatever you labor for will not die in the mighty name of Jesus. You're going out, you're coming, it will carry fire. It will carry fire to disgrace your enemy. It will carry fire to disgrace your, 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 your news carrier. People who informer who are carrying informer concerning you, who are waiting to explode to destroy you. But on that day that they have they have planning that God Almighty will expose them and he will disgrace them. And they will not even live to see that very day. Because there are so many people out there gathered together looking for a way to make sure they pull you out of the world looking for a way they make sure they spoil your name even though that name that they want to give you they know that it will not fit you but they will try their best to make sure they remove that food on your mouth they remove that happiness on your mouth on that very date that they have planned to exhibit their their their, their plan of evil May God not let all of them sleep and not to wake up in the mighty name of Jesus this powerful prayer that I am praying my sister my brother is very important claim it Claim it wherever you are because there are some people who are not happy about the way you are living. There are people who are not happy in that you are smiling. There are people who are not happy that you have documents. There are people who are not happy that you have children. There are people who are not happy that you have a house. There are people who are not happy because you have money. Please, 
claim this prayer and say many amen to that and as you do it so shall it be there are enemy out there if you think that there's no enemy there are enemy there are evil ones who don't want to see you smile who don't want to see you eat the fruit of your labor who don't want to see that you come out of that result you want to receive they don't want to see you come and graduate they don't want to see you have that child they don't want to see you have children they have gathered together in the place of their kovu planning the, the day that they will expose you they planning the day that they will remove food on your mouth they are planning the way how they will pull you down so that you will go and hang on premature death will visit you i say i pray for you my brother my sister wherever you are watching this program anybody like that in your life wherever they are oh lord in heaven as they gather themselves doing this plan oh god on the day that they are about to exhibit this plan father let all of them sleep and never to wake up in the mighty name of jesus let all of them jam their early grave in the name of jesus because the word of God said that we should labor and him alone will bless the fruit of our labor. Him alone will bless the fruit of our sweat. God did not say we should sit down at home. We should not do anything. That money will come out from the war. He did not tell us. He said that we should hustle. Your stronghold today will bring joy to your life. And also ever that planning that you will not eat your stronghold. You will not enjoy your stronghold. I say may then jam their early grave in the name of Jesus. May then jam their early grave in the name of Jesus. May then jam their early grave in the name of Jesus. Wherever your picture has been submitted in the place of Kovu, in the place of Shiram, anywhere, may the picture became counterfeit to their life in the name of Jesus. As far as, as long they set their eyes in your picture, may they, may they, may they receive blindness from heaven in the name of Jesus. May thunder of blindness fall upon their life in the name of Jesus. As I am praying this prayer for you and you claim it, so shall it be in your life. If you neglect this prayer, oh, you neglect everything about your life. Claim this prayer and so shall it be in your life because you are about to enter New Year. There are so many people who don't want you to shout Happy New Year. I say may them jam their early grave in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, my brother. I pray for you, my sister. Jesus Christ, he fight the world. He key, they kill him because of our sake. He share his blood. Somebody that cannot share his blood for you, he will have right over your life. Or oh, mommy, it's not possible. It's only man, one man like that, one man that share his blood on the cross of Calvary for you is the only one that have the key to our life, that have the key to our soul. Without him, nobody. That's why you should believe him. You should really have faith that him alone is the reason why you are living. If him say yes today, the life he give to you, he want to take it back, so be it. Without him, no one can take your life. Whether you believe it or leave it, you are unbeliever, you are watching this program. You cannot kill yourself by yourself, except God say yes. And God don't God don't wish a time death for his children. You should know that. If you did not know, if you are not knowing God before, this is the time that for you to know God. This is the time for you to give your life to God because He is the reason for our living. He is the reason for our happiness. Every other happiness is counterfeit. Please come closer to God. Come closer to God Almighty. He's ready to hear you. He's ready to set you free. He's ready to fight for you. He's ready to stand by you. He's ready to wipe away your enemy. He's ready to wipe away your tears. As for me and my family, we have given our life to God. I have given my life to God. I don't know about you. My brother, my sister, please worship the God. Give your life to him. He's the owner of your soul. Brother, what about you? Sister, what about you? It doesn't really matter what you are going through. It doesn't really matter what you say. Give your life to Jesus. He's the owner of your soul. Brother, what about you?
sorry. Brother, what about you? Sister, what about you? It doesn't matter what you going through. It doesn't matter where you coming from. What the matter? That Jesus love you. What the matter? That Savior love you. Brother, what about you? Sister, what about you? As for me and my household, we have given our life to Jesus Christ, who created devil na earth, who created devil na earth. Give your life to him, because there is none like him. Give your life to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. He's the owner of your soul. He's the owner of your life. Brother, what about you? Sister, what about you? What about you, my brother? What about you, my sister? I don't know about you. Please, this is the hour. You are going to see another new year again. You are going to enter another new year. But there are people who are not able to succeed. But you, today, you are succeeded. You think that is your power. No, it's not your power, okay? You were created by human being. You were created by that one man. You were created by that one man. Who cherish you so much. Who, who adore you so much. Who, 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 who adore your praises? Please give your life to him, okay? Brother, give your life to Jesus. We might not know all because we make mistake. It's only him that will not make mistake. And mistake can be corrected. Mistake can be corrected. I also pray for our Nigeria, our country. May God Almighty plead this mercy upon that land that land is a is a, is a very it's a success land it's a successful land but now we don't know what is happening but we pray to god almighty that what god cannot do does not exist that one day that country will became better as it is where in the days of our great grandfather Please, I beg you, youth of our country, youth of Nigeria, please stay away from trouble. Stay away from something that you know that he will not give glory to your God. Stay away that something that you know that he will, he will, he will, he will, he will, he will give people heart attention. Please, I know that things are very difficult, but I believe that one day, your story will change for good. And I pray that anywhere you are going, you should not jam or tell me that. Or tell me that should not jam you. And I plead the blood of Jesus upon your life because your parents love you so much. Your mothers and your fathers love you so much. Please. And we mothers, we fathers, who are swear, swearing for our children, causing them all sort of costs, we are the reason for their problem. Please, don't curse your children. Pray for them. Pray for them. You can even pray for your children. You want to curse them. Turn that curse to prayer. You are a big man. You are a big boy. You are a strong man. You are going to make it in life. Your head will not spoil. Your head will not be rejected. You will not be rejected among your equal. Those that prayer that we should be causing our children although it's not easy but we should learn how to pray for our children instead of us causing them because the day you say your children you are a mad boy you are a mad child you are useless you are hopeless that day the kingdom of fire has signed it for you but you may not know that child will start growing up it will start misbehaving anyhow 
arm robber like you a useless child like you enemy have signed it in the kingdom of darkness you are the reason why it's like that as a mother we should all hold our breasts pray for our children this breast you are seeing here is a very is a big symbol of grace to our children you hold your breast you pray for your children if people who are in a, all kind of situation today they are they are child from people they are child from other mothers they, they they don't god did not create them to be in that way but this world here they get spoiled please as a mother pray for your children wherever you are don't abandon them you yourself as a mother you see do mistake so what about you about children we all do mistake. Nobody is above mistake. Forgive your children. Forgive them. Let them feel love from you. Whether you are with them, whether you are not with them, let them feel love from you. What they're supposed to get from you, don't let them to go and look for it elsewhere. If you don't have, tell them to have patience. And children, please don't be stubborn to your parents. Don't be stubborn to your parents because they know they went here before they have you. Please don't be stubborn to your father. Don't be stubborn to your mother. Please. Love them equally. Because the Bible also make it make us to understand that disobedience from child to his parents is very is, is very wayward and it's not good. It has repercussion. But I'm not going to say that. But you all know the repercussion, children. Please listen to your parents, listen to your mothers, listen to your fathers. Because they brought you to this life. Do not let anybody deceive you that your mother is the witch that is disturbing you. Your father is the witch that is disturbing you. Your father is the reason why you are not rich. Your mother is the reason why you are not rich. This is what is happening here in this world today. You are joining two people. You are joining their head together. You are destroying families. Then that child will now pick Koklas, pursue his mother. Mother will pursue, uh, friend, uh, 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 let me not speak Italian. Mother will take Koklas, pursue his child. How is that possible that your mother is now a witch that is disturbing you, mother that gives birth to you? When you were conceived, he did not spoil you. It's now that you were born to the world, that you are about to help him. Ha! You now become an obstacle to your generation? Please. Please. We should use our head so that people will not use it for us. So that enemy will not use our head for us. It's very important for we to use our head. Akonuche is important. Okay? Those that don't have mother, they are crying. They don't have mother. You that have mother, you take your mother, you are using your mother to play ball. You are using your father to play ball. Your father, okay, you say, okay. You want to flog your father. You are bringing curse upon your generation because your whole child will, okay. Your mother talk to you. You call your mother say, hey, how do you even know if you are my father, if you are my mother? You are saying those to your mother. You are bringing cause to your generation. Child, please. We should be wise as some pets. We should be wise. Okay? We should not let people to wise our brain for us. We should use our brain. Hmm? We should use our brain. Please. I never know my mother. I would have cherished him too much, so much. My father is also in the grave now. But if spirit has seen, my father know what I did for him before he passed on. My father was age of 51 years before he passed on. My mother is age of, uh, I think it's 30 years before my mother also passed. I did not know him. I did not know her. I wish both of them are alive today. With the little one I am, I am enjoying now. I would have also led them to benefit. Even in debt. Anytime I, 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 I started traveling, I will make them I will still make them to know that they have a child. They will be happy. <coughs> they will be happy all the days of their life. And I, I pray for you anywhere you are watching me from that God Almighty should protect you. Should protect you. 
should watch over your going out your community. Oh, oh. Mm, <coughs> you are welcome. <coughs> Mm. Can you help me look the seconds of this thing that I'm doing? I should do what? Uh, is, is it out of one hour yet? 25 minutes. It's not one hour. Okay. Shebi, you are at home now. I'm at home. Uh, you, will help me to, you help me to look at it. You help me to tell me if it is time. To How can it be one hour? It's only 25 minutes. Okay. okay. So... It's like that. Let me go to the other side. <clears throat> so this is what I'm trying to tell you, children. How to love your parents, love them for who they are. Love them, okay? Love them. You will see every prayer they are saying to you, you will be receiving it. You will be collecting that prayer. That prayer will be working for you. Because when a mother loves a child, he will pray a good prayer for his child. When a mother hates a child, he will pray bad prayer because why is not giving a mother that respect? And for men, again, I want to talk to men. Men who is abandoning children for woman, you run. Or the woman carry children, you run. Let me first of all say that. Because today is what I'm saying now is, because, is how God wants us to live our life. Why so many of us are not doing it? This is what I'm trying to say today. Because you see, it's in the Bible that two people that bring children to this world, they're supposed to take the responsibility. They're supposed to be the one to take responsibility, not another man take responsibility of your child. Please, a man, if you are that kind of man who is running away from your responsibility, please stop it, okay? Stop it because the last day, God will ask you, how did you take care of the children that he gave to you? Okay? Then you don't have what to say to God. You will say that you you and your wife have misunderstanding, you abandon. No, don't abandon your children for your for a woman. When two people is able to take care of a child, it's, it's very difficult than say one person is taking care of child. It's difficult. Please, whatever issue that you are having with your woman, you put to try and settle it amicably. So that it will not resort to any man running away from his children okay please don't run away from your children don't run away from your responsibility who are you going to leave those responsibility for where, where are you going is that very place you are going are they are they not having misunderstanding is there no is there no misunderstanding in that place are there no people are they not quarreling there everywhere there, there's no home that there's no misunderstanding. If someone tell you that my home there's no misunderstanding, it's a lie. But it's who tell you are there that my house every day I'm misunderstanding with my partner. This is where you will know. If it's not telling you, you will not know. Please try and come back to your children. Help your wife and take care of those children. Okay? Help your wife and take care of those children. You are a good man. You are a, you are a good man. God created you to be good. God created you to be responsible, okay? You are not useless. You are a good man. You are a responsible man. Please come back to your children. Whenever your wife do to you or maybe your wife's family, please forgive them. Come back to your children. Come back to your beautiful family. I don't know you, but I know that I am talking to someone. I know that I am talking to someone. Okay? And we women, we are under men. It's not that it's not we that it's not we that make ourselves to be under men. It's God. We are under men. No matter how you have money, no matter how you are beautiful, women, my fellow women, we are under men. Men are the elders because in their realms, 
that God removed bone that used to create we women. Please, I know today that women, some women have money, they don't have value for their husband again. It don't supposed to be like that. If you have enough money, make your husband to be more happy, okay? Because he is the respect you have. He is the when you are going out, you, you came down from the car with your man, with your husband, you 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 are called more respect, okay? You are called more respect. But when they say that this man has this woman has been married to this many different men, that time your respect will, 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 will reduce to zero. Your respect will reduce to zero because they will now be counting the men that you have married so far. Your respect will now reduce to zero. You know what zero is? This zero, oh, like this, oh. And it's not good for our life. It's not good for our name. Please, women, we should respect men, okay? If our husband don't have a work, we, our all is to kneel down and pray for them, for God to give them job. Because God give us the power to help men. Okay? He give us the power. Let me tell you, women, we have power more than men. You can pray for your husband with all your hearts. Eh? Everything that is loose before, he will have it again because of you. Okay? And I know that why many women are not using their really mind and their spirit to pray for their husband today is because the men are not treating them well. Some of the, some of men will be so bitter to their wife, they will beat the hell out of their wife, they will beat sense away from their woman. Tell me that woman cannot pray a good prayer for you. Okay? We all have to learn to show women love. Because if you want to live long in this life, it's love. Trouble it this it, it, it make heart to tear into pieces. Trouble tear heart. There's nothing tear heart like trouble. When you are coming, when you close for work, when you are coming home, you are all to rest and have peace and eat a good food and have a good night. But because there is trouble at home, you will not have peace. You will prefer to sleep in your workshop. That one key so very fast. It key more than accidents. If accidents even happen, then we still rush some people to hospital. But if heart want to devastate, it devastated so fast. Because heart is where our life lies. Please, men, don't beat your wife. Don't turn them to a punchy bag. I have seen so many ones, so many cases in Facebook where they write R.O.I.P. from the, the, the man kill the woman. The man kill the woman. Sometimes woman kill the man. Sometimes woman kill the man. Please. We are killing ourselves as if we are killing goats. How is this killing evil easier? How is it easier for you people to, to delete somebody away from this life like that? Excuse me. The killing has so easy that you, you, kill, you kill people like a goat, like an animal. It's very, it's very obvious. Please, we should stop all this rubbish. We should stop it. God is not happy. Jesus is not happy with you. You don't expect to kill human beings and remain the same. Please, don't disturb me here. You don't expect to kill human beings. Your life will remain the same. No, it will not remain the same. Because you, every night and day you will be shocking. You will be, your heart will be, de de be devastated every now and then. So there's nothing like peace. There's nothing like peace. When your wife is hot, you as a man calm down. Two people cannot be hot at the same time. When your wife is hot, you calm down. Okay? When you are hot, your wife calm down. When you want to let her to calm down for one, it will be better. Me, I'm, sometimes I, I'm very nervous. So I I get very nervous. But I don't, I don't keep them in my heart. I don't keep them in my heart. When I'm nervous like this, my husband will be begging me, my love, I'm sorry. My love, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That I'm sorry, it go a long way for my heart. It lifts my heart away from anger. Please, man, learn how to apologize to your wife because you are our help. You are our help 
Hey, I don't know how to put it. You are the first. Okay, Baben. Okay.